Hi everyone, it's Kenzie. Uh, this is my third video. Um, today's uh, November. Well, it's November seventh now. I just so happen to be up um, like I usually am late when I. <sighs> And my husband beat me up, and I had, you know, a full stay away uh, order of protection. Um, I was in the house all by myself. And even though I have a couple of uh, you know, here's one of them. Hi, Leeling. Mama's baby girl. Um, you little shit, so. Even though I have a poodle that is a total alarmist, um, and she'll get howling too, you know, she thinks someone's at the door, or like, she gets excited, but, I mean, that, you know, just because they're, they're good, like, what, what, what do you call that, um, not guard dogs, but, hmm. What watch dogs? They're good watch dogs because they hear everything and um, if something doesn't sound right. It, Deuce or her, you know, just quickly or like whatever. Especially my poodle, Deuce. He'll like wake up and be on his feet in two and like a, a half a second, really, like he wasn't even sleeping from a from a dead like a de looks to me like a dead sleep. So okay, I. Long story, oh, I'm telling you, long story short, I got a custom and had to, I had just had to do this, um, to staying up all night long so I was awake, you know, and the only protection I had really was a stun gun and, um, like, you know, a couple of uh, what do you call it? Knives, you know, like little, uh, whatever, just knife, a knife, you know, that you, you can wear and like carry around in your pocket and then, not that small, but I mean, uh, the knives that open up, um, like a buck knife, but smaller, um, and... So that's really, and my wits, you know, because um, I think I'm, you know, with what I learned from kickboxing years ago was a, a lot, <laughs> and I, I'm kind of a force to probably be reckoned with as far as if you're in a fight with me. I'm only 5'3", but, you know, that makes for a better, uh, you know, they call that center of center of, um, oh God, gravity, um, over someone bigger, so and that's probably how I didn't get as, you know what I mean, that's probably how my husband didn't end up killing me, or breaking my nose, or, you know, um, busting a lip, or a tooth out, or something, I, uh, you know, I fended him off and slipped his shots, you know, and I was, you know, I was very protective. What is this in my hand? This is my toker. But I, um, I got accustomed to staying up all night long because I was scared and then sleeping all day. So, as sad as that might seem, um, <laughs> I love these things. Um, I, I mean, I, it was like I was on third shift again when I once worked third shift in the uh, memory wing, you know, kind of like the dementia ward of a with uh, a senior uh, residence place, and you know, some of my medical knowledge, of course, was implemented there and. But, yeah, I got accustomed to staying up all night long. Um, brought me back to the days where, you know, it was years ago that I worked at uh, that particular place that I was just mentioning. 
Um, so now, I mean, even a, even though it's a year later, I have a really tough time being asleep at a decent hour. Um, it's ruining, it's just wrecked my life, this whole post-traumatic stress thing. Um, you know, my body obviously got used to being on a third shift mode, um, type thing, you know, up all night and sleep all day. And, well, you know, at night, everything's kind of dark. You, uh, usually I would only, usually I only have like one light on and, and the TV, you know, or something like that. And, um... So, I don't know why it didn't make, what I'm getting at is the dullness, the dark, you know, the, the uh, lack of lots of light, you know, you think would make me drowsy and, and drop off because that's kind of how our, our bodies are supposed to be. We're supposed to wake up when it's bright and light and you know lights are getting in the windows and as you can see this window here um <laughs> never i never opened them why would i you know because i a lot of times i sleep right there on the couch and um damn it, damn it um Sorry, I got a heat and pad on, out on my back because, um, like I said, I think maybe mentioned that I'm um, I'm on pain meds for us because well, from my back I'm uh, I'm on pain management for my back. It's, it's, it sometimes it's brutal. I can't even stand up straight and I cry, screaming like level like ten. <laughs> pain um I'm still stuttering just a smidge here um today okay well so okay I'm all screwed up my uh days are my nights and my, my nights are basically my days it's stupid uh so um Today, I find out that, I found out, and ugh, so pissed, that my husband went ahead and, uh, see, we're not divorced yet. We uh, signed the agreement papers or whatever, and then the, the divorce is in process, but we're legally separated. He went and took me off of his, ins you know, insurance, and he took out single, you know, single insurance. And I found that out after my pain doctor appointment today. Um, actually, I had a credit for some reason on my account, so I didn't owe the pain doctor. But I will because I had her, I had my nurse practitioner, you know, and... Um, pain management and um, was it neur neurology or you know whatever they're also into uh, she just shot the hell out of me you know with shots um, I don't know if they're lidocaine shots or what or muscle relaxing shots I, I forget I should know but that is just and so inconsequential right now with all the other problems, I need to worry about that. Okay, so that's going to be a nice huge bill, you know. Um, I went to, and when I went to the drugstore to get, you know, a few of my meds that I get every month for pain. Um, they said that I no longer have insurance. I, it's being denied or you know whatever you don't have do you have new insurance where do you, you know it's not coming up that you're still with Blue Cross Blue Shield or whatever insurance and hold on a second 
one of my meds, Neurontin, makes me super dry. Mm. So if you see me, you know, sipping um, my water, putting on lip gloss constantly, it's so my lips don't literally stick together because my mouth gets like cotton mouth. It's terrible. And um, so that, uh, never mind, I'm not going to call names. That man, that jerk of a man, uh, and his company is this bullshit, okay? His, there was no documentation stating that we're divorced, okay? No documentation saying that, okay, um, Crane no longer needs, uh, you know, insurance. Um, uh, Kenzie's my nickname, by the way, but, so, whatever. I just said my real name, but, so, uh, everybody calls me Kenzie, because that's what it was since, um, God, since cheerleading. <laughs> so, but, whatever. Um... I had to pay three times the amount I'm normally paying. Oh my god, my poor little Leelings. She's got allergies, and even though I give her <sighs> allergy medicine, she's always chewing at her hips. Or what is she today? This is. What do you? It, like it's real wet on her right here right there so, I don't know oh, baby girl <laughs> so I'm this baby girl and then see she gets hair in her mouth and she she constantly has to do that because she's trying to get the hair from out of between her teeth she's digging at her She's like digging at her front paws and she digs at her hips. Um, those are signs of allergies, really. Um, I'm almost thinking of becoming a veterinarian. Uh, all the courses I've taken are basically would apply. A lot of them, you know, medical um, would apply. So, to. Did you know, Tail? Did you know, Tail? Actually, she's got a long tail, but... <laughs> okay, enough distractions. Um, I was so... I was livid. I was freaking out um, at the drugstore, you know, and I hate to go out as it is. I was with my mother. She's the one, you know, I... She went with me to the doctor. She went with me to the drugstore because I'm still so agoraphobic and the only place that I've gone uh, so many times because of my you know my pain and my uh, just other conditions you know and freaking I can go to the drugstore with my mom but I would she cannot get me to go to Walmart and that's how sad it is I am terrified um, she merely <clears throat> mentioned the other day that I said I can't find my my rechargeable batteries, you know. And she's like, "Oh, just go buy a new another set." And I'm like, "Mom, you know I can't do that. You know I either have to do everything online, or have someone do it for me, or someone. I mean, I don't know. Just I." I don't know. It's just. Uh, the thought of it gets me really upset when anybody says, Oh, you gotta get out. You gotta come out. And I'm freaking. My just. I'm missing so much. You know, I'm. I'm missing so many things. I wanna go places that I planned to go a long time ago or um, and not only is it because of my PTSD 
but um, monetarily, you know, I don't got the scooches to go to go anywhere. I used to be one to travel somewhere every year. Been to Vegas four times, uh, Acapulco, Arizona, bike weeks, uh, to Florida, you know, Cle uh, Ohio, Cleveland, for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, Toronto was another fun place for me and my friends to go you know, and party and, and drink. Just uh, dance and go to like after parties and stuff uh, where I'm um, not like quite like rave parties but just parties that were where you made a donation of like you know, it was really cheap actually like five bucks or something and the they would serve beer which was kind of warm and uh, or wine and that was it so, and this place was like a mansion. It was had so many floors and so many couches. A house DJ. I'm talking about one particular time that me and my girlfriends went to Toronto after we were done with the bars in, in Toronto. But I can't do anything like that. I used to be, you know, so so much fun and. Um, and, be, and I was like, I always wanted to kind of be maybe a step ahead, actually, like, let's go here, you know, like my idea, you know, <sighs> I can't do that anymore. I've shut a few friends out, but I, you know, I not shut them out, but I just feel like I'm just a burden. I just, they don't want to hear my problems, you know. They got enough of their own. Mm. So, I do have a couple of friends that are close, you know. A lot closer or whatever that I'm a lot closer to that, um, you know. They'll come with me to places, you know, or go with, or go help me get, um, you know, st something, anything. Um, I just cannot believe, uh, back to the insurance issue, that his company, and, and this is the shit that almost exes, okay, husbands and wives, though, if they're the if they got the insurance. This is the shit that starts the hatred and the, and the despising and all that is when they do dirty tricks like this. You know, like, he said, literally, I thought you had insurance. I said, well, I did not provide your friggin' company with proof of that for them to take, you know, for them to cancel me, you know, they're liable to now. They're, I mean, they're, what if, um, now my lawyer is all over this shit. She is gonna, she, mm, she is excellent. She crushed his, oh my God, his lawyer looks like 12, okay? Yet he's, he's a very expensive lawyer. I'm like, you idiot, what do you think you were going to do by getting an expensive lawyer? Everybody, you beat my ass, okay? Duh, you're not going to walk away from this one, you know, unscathed. Um, and, so, yeah, this is what, you know how they say, well, people were telling me when I started the divorce proceedings and, got them served and mm, <laughs> my mouth's dry um and all that he said oh oh it's only gonna get worse before it gets better or it's gonna get worse I'm like how you know what you know 
um, and now I know what they mean, you know, there's been a few things that he pissed me off about here and there, and all, whatever, but, um, the very day that my alimony started, which was Thursday, well, whatever, he gave me my alimony Thursday and canceled my insurance the same day, uh, or, you know, off of his insurance the same day. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Um, what, just because you're all you know, shelling out alimony now? Uh, he says, I wouldn't have been able to have paid you the alimony if I didn't take you off the insurance. And I'm like, it canceled yesterday, not last week where, you know, your paycheck would have been, I'm like, this is full of shit, okay, he's just, I can't believe it, I mean, the first day I get alimony, he's canceling the insurance behind my back, and not even telling me, he didn't even, that. I mean, you, you would have thought maybe he's like, are you, sh are you, or who did you get, or, you know, so, you're, you're insured now, you know, who do you got insurance through, or, you know, my comp, and you'd think that his company would say, you know, the company, because once before this happened, because I was the one with the better job, so I had him on mine, or some shit like that, uh, years ago, and, um, get him off, I needed to show proof that he had insurance, you know, like I couldn't just take him off, uh, and go to a single plan, you know, it's, it's you know, it's that, and still it applies now, so his company is a small company, uh, and they're stupid, or something, they're freaking stupid, they should have contacted my lawyer, or his lawyer, um, his lawyer probably would have known that he wasn't supposed to do this, but, he, you know, he's going, I, I, I thought you said you got insurance. I'm like, what? No, I said I gotta go down to Slumville, okay, with all the freaking lowlifes that don't even deserve, you know, free medical or whatever, you know, just because you're spitting out babies. Uh, you know, every year with some different guy, and you, you like, you're making more money than I am off the freaking, you know, Social Security or whatever you claim you're, uh, you can't al get along with others. I can't believe how many kids are scamming Social Security and, because they don't want to work. Okay, well, you're only going to be getting, what, when you're a kid and never worked. You don't get hardly shit. I mean, you don't get what I would get when I get disability. Or, you know, Social Security. I'm going for SSD because, um, uh, not SSI. Because, um, I own a how I own property. And, um, I can, so I can keep my car, too. You know, the SSI one, they want you to be someone that has made less than $2,000 or something in the last year and has a car that's 10 years old and doesn't own any property. And, actually, you get more anyways being on SSD. But, these kids right out of high school who are what, troublemakers, and can't get, can't play well with others, doesn't, doesn't play well with others, I mean, give me a fucking break, you know, when I used to encounter people that, um, told me, like, kid, I'm sorry, kid, well, younger, like, teenagers, or early 20s, say, you know, saying that they're on social security, because they don't, uh, they can't get along, uh, they can't take they don't get along with people, or they, uh, well, they're, you know, or something about authority issues, or you know, can't be told what to do, and 
It's like, seriously? Uh, I hardly think working and having a boss is so effing bad. You know what I mean? Uh, can't take orders? Well, then go to college and become a manager of something, okay? Get your fucking shit together. So stupid. And it's like, th you're, well, you know, when I was working since I was a young teenager, I didn't wait till I was, you know, 19, 20 to start working. I was working when I was 14, 15. I, you know, I lied, um on a job application when I was at 17 because you could get away with it back then uh, years ago, a few years ago whatever uh, I said I was 18 I, I, mean, I just put in you know um, did the math no just kidding one year you know difference and then I, boom I was working in a factory actually but I mean I was like you know I'm making my money and uh, it just aggravates me so much, you know. I want to. I just say to these kids that brag about getting to. I'm like, well, you're welcome, okay, for my government tip to you, okay, because you're scamming me, too. Oh my god. Uh, you know, it's just, and they're like, uh, uh, you know. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, I fucking speak up, you know, so now I have to wor worry about my next appointments, is the insurance going to be reinstated, my lawyer, I almost said her name, but I don't know, my lawyer, um, wants, will, said so she'll take care of it, and you know, his insurance company will have to retroactive it, and the drugs I had to pay out of pocket today, that cost me triple what I normally pay, I just felt died, um, because, duh, I'm not working, I'm, I'm only getting stinking alimony because I'm afraid of my own shadow, um, just, oh, I can't believe that. But I'll get it reinstated, and then they'll have to back reimburse me, whatever. But it's just the aggravation. I did not, I don't need, when you got post-traumatic stress, you can't handle as much. You know, you just, you just don't. You can't handle as much, um, uh, you can't, you don't, can't add on any more stress to your life it's just devastating every little thing is just devastating you know it's just my um, post-traumatic stress and anxiety is just it's like I can't even handle it what you know if my my mother says she doesn't feel well I get like really freaked out inside Try not to show it and just dote on her or, or take care of her, uh, assess the situation. Uh, sometimes I'll take her vitals just to, you know, and I'm like, you know, taking her respiration or you know, watching, you know, for, for respirations, make sure, you know, she's not shortness of breath or she's not, she's not breathing, she's breathing too fast or she's breathing too, you know, too slow. Uh, and I, I mean, a lot of times it's just, Mom, you're not drinking enough water. Stop drinking coffee and drink water. And so that's helped a lot. She's changed her diet, too, because of me a lot. She's such a little lady, too, you know. She's like, she was always little. I mean, I mean, I'm like an inch or, I'm like, well, now she's, <laughs> I even I'm shrinking. I'm probably a half inch taller or something than I was when I was at my peak, you know, whatever, 20 or whatever. Um, but she's, 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 
she's a real strong woman. She's this, she can take care of herself. But if she gets uh, these dizzy spells and stuff like that, I start to worry about, oh, shit, you know, heart problems or, you know, or something. Vertigo. She gets a little vertigo and so on. I was like, oh, my God. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it scares me. I can't handle all, I can't handle any more stress in my life. I just can't. And this insurance thing has got me freaked out. I can't really talk anymore about it. But just so you know, this is dirty tricks that guys will play on you and during, your, during your divorce. Okay, thanks.